Hello and welcome to another video in the National 5 and Higher PE series. Um, today we started our first week in our six week PDP. Uh, now PDP stands for Personal Development Programme. Um, so what we are doing over the next six weeks is a programme of work designed to develop our CRE. Again, just a reminder of CRE, Cardio Respiratory Endurance, the ability of cardio the heart, respiratory the lungs, um, to work over a long period of time is the endurance part. So, today we were looking at a way in which we can develop our CRE. So the way that we chose today was through interval training. Now, when I think of interval training, it helps me always to have something else to kind of jog my memory as to what that is. So the thing that I've chosen for you today is the Kit Kat um, Biscuit Bar. So, Kit Kat, their motto is to take a break. So in interval training, what is it you do? You take breaks, okay? So you work for a period of time, and then you rest for a period of time, and then you continue that. So today, I'll show you a picture of what we were doing. Here it is right now. So in that picture, there are four pink poles set up in a kind of square shape. Um, and what we had to do was for five different intervals, or so five times five laps, we had to run round for one lap um, as fast as we could in whatever amount of time it took. And then we were told our time as we passed the start and the finish line. Um, and that way we could monitor if our pace improved um, or got worse as time went on. Um, so it was a good way to try and beat our time, make sure we were putting maximal effort into our working period, but we knew that we had the rest part still where we could just kind of relax, catch our breath and chill out. In between each interval, we were taking our heart rate and we noticed over time that, that increased um, as we continued through our five laps. I've just got on here a couple of the positive things about using interval training as an approach to develop our CRE, as well as some of the limitations or the negative parts of it. Um, but again, some of the negatives can actually be turned into positives. So we'll go through them just now. In terms of positives, um, interval training is good because it allows you to stay motivated while you are training. So in that working period, because you know you're getting a break. So your thought process is, right, let's work really, really hard in the working time because we know that the break's coming. Um, and that's it's like a wee reward for working so hard. Um, so that's a positive of using interval training. Interval training allows you to work at a higher intensity for longer. So because you're kind of splitting up the work time, you're able to put more effort into the time in which you are working. It can work on different skills. So we had the option today for interval training where some of us, and those of us in particular that were doing our one-off performance in football, chose to do our five interval training laps um, with a football at their feet. And not only does this improve our CRE, but there's a wee bit of skill work in there as well. It can be easily overloaded by adapting the principles of training, which we will look at more in the short future, which is frequency, intensity, and duration. Frequency meaning how often we do something, intensity, how hard we are working, and duration for how long. So we can vary that with interval training to make it harder or easier, depending on how we are feeling. And looking at what might be considered some of the limitations now, um, it can become boring over time. So if you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, it's like anything, it starts to become boring. You'll lose your interest in it. So because interval training is work, rest, work, rest, it can become repetitive. So it's worthwhile changing it up after a while. It requires mental toughness. So for the period in which we are working, we're working really, really hard. We feel pain, we feel the lactic acid building up. We feel ourselves really struggling to breathe. So there's a mental kind of fight, mental battle going on there where we're trying to push through that pain barrier to get the most out of our working kind of period of time. Finally, it's really, really hard at times because the performers often work while fatigued. So as we were going through our five laps, it got harder each time because we were more and more fatigued. Again, mental toughness being the, the most important factor here so we could try and overcome that kind of pain barrier and push through even though our bodies were tired. Thanks very much and we look forward to seeing you on the next video.